Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Satham, and welcome back to another episode of Vampire. Okay, uh, we got two of three ingredients. We still need the third one, who is being, or which is being held by McCollum. Now, obviously, that guy did not like us at the beginning. Hopefully, we don't have to fight him again. That would be absolutely awesome. Especially now that he's a vampire. So we're going to go and get the final ingredient in this episode and see how far we can get into the story. Because I have a feeling we are not far from the end. So if you folks enjoy this episode, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already. And if you have just subscribed, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new content. Also, for those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. As well as on the Lush Life Discord. Links to these will be down below in the video description. As well as in a pinned comment. Okay, um, time to get a move on. But before I go anywhere, that needs to be done. So after we get the ingredients, we will need to craft it. And I'm guessing after that... It's into the sewers. Is there anything here that I can upgrade or that I might need to be more specific? Um, I mean, I don't know what the best approach will be in terms of the final bosses. So I think I'm going to try and stock up if I can now. I mean, I am in a hideout, so I'll get one of these. That'll come in handy. Can I craft any more? I'm going to try and do my best to stock up from here on. Obviously, if we get some more stuff down the line, might as well do that as well so we can upgrade this fully. And I don't see why I shouldn't. Oh, this is going to do a lot of blood absorption. But I'm probably going to go with the same combo. Actually, I'm going to stick more damage on it. We can always change it around if we want to. So this way, I'm going to keep it like that. So the main sword that I use, I'll keep the way it is. We have this. Um, I don't know. Can I fully upgrade it? No, I cannot. Well, we tried. <laughs> actually went ahead and just did it just without actually thinking so yeah who knows we might find some parts and probably be able to fully upgrade it uh i reckon this would do quite a decent amount of damage if we were to i think the other option i've got here is maybe turning one of these shotguns to become more efficient against vampires and the other one against uh, humans that might be a smart thing to do I want to see what you have I mean I've got some money I don't know exactly how much money I have but you might have some parts that I need okay you've got one part I'll take that as well. Um, yeah, do you know what? I have a feeling I might actually need the shotgun, so we definitely want some of these shells. Now I'm just going to go this way because I'm not sure how that one works out. Um... What have I got here? Okay, I've got these bits I can sell for some extra cash. I'm not going to be using that. Shotgun shells, though, that's, that's a different thing. They do a decent amount of damage. Okay. 
that brought us one step closer to fully upgrading our second shotgun. I'm going to go this way. Um, hopefully, I don't have to fight a lot of bad things. Obviously, that's kind of pointless hoping for that, isn't it? Because that's what the game's all about. But unfortunately, you can only hope. Don't know why the game is getting laggy right here at the end. There's no reason why it should be doing this. Okay. I'm going to have to deal with you. You've got a couple of friends here. Go on, go on. Oh, I should have got away when I had a chance. Dude, you still got me. How the hell did you do that? There's that guy there and I can't heal here. <laughs> I'm just going to have to pop my head out every so often to be able to heal. I think this is the way I'm going to have to fight these guys from now on. Now, I know it's not the correct way of fighting them, but... I'm so seriously underpowered, it's not even funny anymore. Okay, 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 okay. Need to go, 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 go. Yeah, bit of a panic moment there. If I can get the archer, that... I, I keep calling him an archer because he's got a crossbow. So, I'm going to stick with that. That's what I've been doing throughout the game. Oh, no, 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 no. So, I'm going to continue calling him that but oh no that was a bad mistake sorry oh freaking heck oh that guy with the crossbow does so much damage the problem is actually they all do damage if they get you uh I mean, I've got some XP that I could use to level up, but my fear is that it will mess up a district, and I don't really want that to happen. Because I'm going for the good ending. Um... I guess I just need to be a bit more careful. I don't know what else I could have done different. Okay. Need to go, need to go, need to go. Ah, he still got me. Ooh, that was close. I felt that one. I can just get a couple more hits on you. You still got me. Jeez. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Need to heal, need to heal, need to heal. I need to be very careful. <laughs> Don't want to make the same mistake again. Ah. Uh, right. You're going to get it, sir. You annoying, annoying NPC. Okay, hopefully I have enough blood to be able to heal, because I think there might be another fight. I don't think the streets will be empty until we get to the graveyard. At least they did have some good parts on them. Uh, okay, we're not that far away from where we need to be. Of course, why would these guys not be on the streets? 
There's another guy there. I'm just worried about having a third NPC around this area that I cannot see. Yes, there is another. Okay, there's third. Okay, time to go. Okay, <laughs> panicking. But I think I'm going to be going if I get a chance. Yeah, like that, see? Oof. Okay. I need to be really careful. Jeez. How far can you follow me? Right, well. No, do not hit me while I'm feeding. Okay, okay, that's good. I have recovered. I thought I was uh, gonna die there for a couple of seconds. I need to avoid your garlic perfume gadget thing, whatever you're spraying at me. I'm guessing that's probably garlic. Apparently vampires in this game don't like garlic. There we go. Mm, not what I was expecting. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything here. I'm guessing after this bridge, there's bad stuff again. Uh, how am I going to deal with you? I want to get this guy down because he's actually really, really, really hard. Oh, there's a guy with a crossbow. If I can get you down. Ah, shoot. Yeah. I think I'm going to do the... Nope. No, no. Right. Come on. Come on down the bridge. What? Straight in the face, sir. That really stings. Ooh. You still got me. Jesus Christ. Okay. At least there's two of them to fight and not three. So I'm happy with that. That's an advantage for me. If you can call it that. I still do a lot of damage. Alright, one down. You, sir, are not that scary. There's plenty of room for me to move. And obviously, if I do stupid mistakes, you're going to hurt me. Like that, see? But it's alright, because I can feed on your neck. That's it. I've actually got him pinned in an area where he will not be aggressive, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Because he wants to go back to his point of origin. Don't you? And he didn't drop anything. What about you? Okay, you've got a nice bag there of... Uh, I suppose three shillings isn't bad, although I don't see what I'm going to spend it on. Unless I can find parts, obviously. I do need some parts to upgrade my shotgun. That's the thing that I need now, still. Uh, let's see... Okay, so this is a graveyard. Obviously not a good place to be at night, especially when there are loads of vampires. So I need to carefully plot a course and hopefully try and avoid as many NPCs. Um, I mean, I don't really get that much XP from killing them anymore. Do I have to fight you? I don't have a choice. I wish I could. The game doesn't work that way, sir. As long as you don't have friends helping you, I'm alright fighting you. You know what? 
of all the pre-win, you're the least scariest one. <laughs> ah. Go on. I do like how these guys with the shotgun actually look. I like their design. Ah, you got me there. You got me there. It's alright. I'll get you back. I am sort of glad that I did invest in my bite damage. I know 200 isn't all that much, but you know what? At the end of the day, something is better than nothing. With how hard these guys have become to kill, I'm happy with it. There we go. Like, even your normal NPC now feels like a boss fight. <laughs> Um, is this a good way to go? Is there anything bad around here? Uh, that's bad. Uh, kind of need to go forward, though. It's the explodey one that's got me worried. Come on, come on. One down. Ah, shit. You, you got me there, sir. Oh, ma'am. Sorry, even. I know you're not a sir. My apologies. Did not want to offend you. Oh, time to go. I hate the teleporty acid -y one, whatever they're called. Ill-formed scows. Okay. I'm glad I'm not close to you when you explode. How did that happen? Why did that affect me? That's not fair. Well. Seems like they made short work of those pre-wins. Okay, Coolsville. Um, just... If McCullum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient for my recipe. Okay... Alrighty. Yeah, I was going to say I need to be careful. I do not want to get caught off guard here. Because it's going to hurt. And if there's one thing that I've learned is when you die, uh, some NPCs respawn. I don't want to fight them again. On the bright side. Oh, you are nasty. You've got three... Three guys that you're fighting, McCollum. Jesus Christ. You're a bit overconfident now. On the bright side, I'm not afraid of the dog-like creature. I know his moves. And so therefore... Oh. At least McCollum was actually helping out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back off. Come on. That's it. Well done, McCollum. I guess it's time to talk to you. <laughs> Hopefully you don't want to kill us now. Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCollum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you... Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. What precisely are your plans? Well, come on, you know that. Um I have found the carrier, McCullum. The infection source. It may be science or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this. But I will harness either or both to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor. My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. D 
do not understand. We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. All right, let's speak some more, I guess. Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? How are you adapting to immortality? I feel so powerful, it gives me shivers. I could be the greatest vampire hunter ever. Your worst nightmare in truth. Will you hunt me down? You seem a decent fellow for a vampire. I've seen no evidence of you taking an innocent life. Will you leave the guard now that you are what you are? Are we not creatures of deceit? I could hide my nature from my men, or name a successor. Go my own way. I know not yet my path. Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. And? Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire and tore out my mother's throat. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch, one time leader of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me, helped me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. I still didn't quite get why you are in the cemetery, but whatever. Do not stretch your luck. <laughs> okay, so basically we've kind of helped create a very angry version of Blade. <laughs> it's alright, I like him actually. Now I need to find a way to get to the safe house. Or hide out. But safe house, I'm going to call it a safe house. Because, hey, why not? Uh, okay, so the plan is get to the hideout, create the potion, and see where we need to go next. Hopefully it doesn't make me go through the Pembroke Hospital area. And I can just uh, go through the center of the map. Because that would be a big, big detour. I don't have a choice because you're kind of in the way, so I'm going to have to fight you. At least you're by yourself, so I cannot complain. No, you are not by yourself. I did not see you. And you don't have flaming bolts. Okay. <laughs> Just realized I was out of stamina, so had to use a stake on him. It's okay. I use stake on you. Like so. Yeah. Blood is good. Blood make me feel strong. Yes. Oh, uh, you just drop rubbish. Well, thank you so much for that, sir. I think there's a safe house up here. I think. I hope. Yes, there is. <laughs> it's been a long while since I've been in this hideout. Let's create the Ah, uh, Come on. So now we have the penchant, and I guess, is there any chance of upgrading this shotgun? No, there is not. I have the bolts for the final upgrade, but I do not have the required parts for this. Ah, that sucks. Um, Incendiary damage. I think we will go for that. I will sacrifice a bit of damage for... An increased damage against vampires, seeing as that is a thing that we will probably fight at the end. Now, hopefully, on the way to... Our final, there we go, okay. So, they're both down here. Um, so, I'm going to go through... Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. 
through the center of the map. Hopefully I don't have to make too much of a detour. So my plan is to kind of go through Whitechapel. There's also a merchant there. Maybe, maybe, just maybe I find the parts that I need to fully upgrade that sod off. If I do, that might come in handy. And if that's the case, what I'll probably do is I will have a shotgun designed for killing humans and another one for vampires. Those are the main things we are fighting after all. Ah, no, 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 too many bullets being fired at me. Put that gun away, sir. You're going to hurt yourself with it. Or maybe I might hurt you with it, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know, details. Simple fact is you're going to get hurt. You as well. Ow. Oh, you still got me. <laughs> I'm out of stamina. That really sucks. You have so many hit points, sir. Seriously. I need to be a bit more careful. Okay, this should allow me to regain some stamina on the bright side. Need to watch out. I do not want to get hit by you too many times because you still have the potential of killing us. I mean, you are the least scariest of pre-winds. But you can still kill me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Seriously. That went south really, really fast. I nearly had him. <sighs> I'm just thinking now. If these guys are this hard, what's the boss going to be like? I'm assuming I'm not going to get away without a boss fight. Well, sorry, right, let me let me say this properly. I'm assuming I'm not going to finish this game without a final boss fight. If these guys are that hard, what the heck will be expecting me? Oh, for Christ's sakes. Just, ah. Uh, Okay, right, he's dead. I'm out of stamina, but I can still bite. So I shall bite you, and I shall suck your blood, and I shall suck you dry. I do wonder, though. I do wonder if I also do reduce damage. That could be a thing. In most RPG style games, you tend to do reduced damage if you fight something that is above your level. Um, so that might also be a thing that is working against me. At least one is down quickly. I would have preferred if I caught you in that thing, but you still got me with that gun. God damn it. Ugh. Just, just die already. That, don't do it. Yeah, last time you killed me from, you took me from almost full health to nothing within a couple of hits. Whereas I really need to work to get you, sir. Okay, I was not fast enough to get out, which kind of sucks. Down, down boy. Well, we did have a part that we needed, but wrong color. Okay. Health-wise, not doing so bad. Obviously, I don't want to get involved in a fight whilst I am regenerating health. 
<sighs> no. <laughs> I am not going that way. I'll take my chances with Prewin. They seem friendlier. Really need to get one of these guys knocked out quickly. Oh, the damage, the hurt. Oh. Jesus Christ, I just healed that, you know? Okay, there's two of them. You got me from there. I am not doing well at all. Okay, that did not really work out. The problem is... The targeting. The targeting is the problem. Yeah. See, I can fight these guys a lot easier if I'm not targeting them. I can actually... Oh! Well, keep it away from me. Keep that pointy thing away from me. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was so freaking close. Again. You got me with it. No. Do not hit me. Holy cow, that was close. <laughs> Time to get the heck out of here. Did I get... Sounds like I got somebody. I'm sure he does. Keep him away from me. <laughs> right, okay. You're by yourself, sir. You don't have any support anymore. You know how this is going to end. You might as well just roll over and die. The sound effects in this game are amazing. I absolutely love them. Ow. Do not hit me with your stupid, stupid staff. It hurts. Yeah, keep it away from me. It's too shiny. That's what it is. How the heck did you get me? I was behind you. that ability that I hate the most and it's quite punishing okay that got you and you got me with your stupid staff again ah. that's it Whew. what a fight uh, fights are quite tense at this point in time. Okay, okay. I went around that many times in a circle. I kind of got disoriented, so I'm going to have to use the map. Uh, which is why I say a mini-map would have been very useful. It looks like we are in the Whitechapel area, so... Time to go and uh, find a merchanta. And uh, see what uh, we can buy from you. Maybe even upgrade my shotgun. If I can do that, I feel that that would be a significant beneficial advantage for me. Especially seeing the disadvantage that I actually currently have. Right, he's busy now. He's uh, talking to me, sir. So... What have you got, Mr. Barrett? Right, uh, good part. I think that should be enough. You also have some bolts. Which, obviously, would come in handy if we had other stuff to upgrade. But I currently feel that the shotgun is the way to go. So I shall go and quickly upgrade my wonderful shotgun.
Oh yeah, I forgot this one's the one upstairs, isn't it? Okay. Nah. Whatever. This is the one I always get the doors mixed up on. I always end up going in or going out the wrong door. Um this is the one. So this is the final upgrade. And of course we are gonna do that. Do you know it's not too bad? I think the other one also has this ability, the other shotgun that we have. Okay, I'm just having to look at all the abilities to see what I could actually do with this gun. But to be fairly honest, I am quite happy with what it currently has on it. So I'm just trying to obviously compare what I've put on it with what I could potentially have on it. I think we have plenty of these parts, so we could probably upgrade this as well. So, stun. Damage, damage. I feel like this would probably be a slow weapon. If I were to do that, might as well. So we'll go for increased stun, so that should help us. I mean, good damage and some decent stun. Don't forget, I do have a stake. That is quite good. Alright, so... That's the way we went the first time around. However, I'm not so sure if I want to go down via the docks. I mean, I know this is the place we went first. I might take the west end option because that is actually closer. Yeah. I think I'll probably go for the west end. I don't really want to be fighting half the city just to get to the sewers. Obviously, that is going to be in the next episode. That is it for this episode. I know there were many, many, many deaths. I cannot help it. The game has become ridiculously difficult. Uh, and I do fear the fact that if I do evolve, I will cause some serious damage to one of the districts. So, for the fear of that, I'm not doing it. Anyways, in the next episode, hopefully, we will get to the sewers. Probably, possibly, maybe find a boss. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But that is it for this episode, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already. And why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. Also, if you have just subscribed to the channel, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new content. And for those interested in hanging out, you can always find me on the Sathtopia Discord as well as on the Lush Life Discord. Links to these will be down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment. Until next time, stay safe, folks.